Hello, it's Tim here from Barnaby's Brewhouse. Uh, I'm going to make a short video on how to dismantle and reassemble these keg spears. Especially when you've got some uh, muck in the end of these uh, valves, they can get stuck and you'll lose beer or you'll lose the gas out of the keg. So, it's quite easy to get these out of the kegs, but it's a little bit more difficult to get these particular style apart. I spent about half an hour with screwdrivers and half a pint of blood trying to get this one apart. Eventually succeeded, but decided I needed a better method. So I went off to the computer, uh, did a bit of a design that I thought might work, and then give it a printout. And this is what we've ended up with. It's basically a mandrel and a guide um, with some steel pins in it and I'll show you how this works. You basically take your guide and the mandrel and place that over the shaft. Now what we need to do is align the split in the sleeve with the uh, keg retention key and then just spin the pins until they click into the three holes in the retaining collet of the valve. Right, with the sleeve and the mandrel on the valve, the next thing is a decorator's corking gun. What we have to do with this, slide the whole thing in, and then just push the uh, plunger up. Now you'll see what once you apply pressure you start to compress the spring until the little tab just there is clear of the retaining tab. And all we need to do is get a pair of long nose pliers that to one side until it clears. Next, just release the brace end and you'll find that the whole thing should then just spring apart. Then the whole valve can come apart, you can give it a clean out And there you go. To reassemble it, make sure you've got the springs with the small end on the end of the spear, like that, tight, and the inner spring so that the small end is facing outwards again. Then you get the main body, just place it together. Next you've got your mandrel, then you take the retaining ring with the V's pointing towards you and upwards out the mandrel, over the pins, like that. And then take the retaining lock and just put it in the recess in this of the sleeve in between the two pins. Next you just take the angular man drill and the sleeve and slide them over the shaft. Make sure that the pins are just sitting on the face of the spring, like that. Put it into the main body, over the inner spring and down. 
then place the whole thing back into your decorator's body. Turn until your tabs are adjacent to the receiving tab. And then take the plunger up. You can see it slowly compresses the spring. Tab should be roughly lined up. Keep going till it closes. I just started off with a little electric screwdriver just to get it turned. It's now, I don't know if you can see that, just under the tab there. I can then take me along those pliers. Get it locked firmly into place. Just release it, and it comes off the thing, and you've got yourself nicely done. The lock sprung out nicely. It's all ready to go back into the keg. And if you want to uh, get more information on our natty little mandrel. For doing keg couplers and just give us an email on info at barnabysbrewhouse.com